In this video, I'm going to take a look at some Corsair RGB products and give you a quick overview of how they fit together. Stick around. Hi, I'm Andrew, and today I'm going to give you just a quick overview of several different RGB products by Corsair. In my research, what I've really come down to and determined is, is that if you're going to do RGB, uh, just choose what looks the best for you. And out of all the lights that I looked at, the Corsair Light Loop fans looked the best to me. And so that is what I chose to go with. Um, I'll give you just a quick overview of the products I chose and uh, demonstrate them a little bit here on the, on the bench. Uh, and then show you what it looked like when I got done with the install and give you a final review. So the first product that I chose was the Lightloop 120mm fan kit. And uh, initially this was the only product I was going to use uh, because it had all three fans. It has the Lighting Node Pro, comes with a six port fan RGB hub and everything you need to get it hooked up to the motherboard and get the software controlling it. Each fan comes with two connections. It comes with your four pin PWM connector and it comes with a four pin RGB connector. Now you still have to plug these in to your motherboard. So I'm kind of thinking that I might add one or two additional fans. As you can see here, this always adds uh, some challenges to cable management. So what I finally decided I was going to do is to get these off of the motherboard and at least move the cable management to the rear of the PC where you couldn't see it. Um, I chose to go with the Commander Pro. Now essentially this is an, uh, a fan hub, but it kind of rolls in multiple Corsair functions all into one. So you get the six PWM or voltage controlled uh, fan connectors. You get two LED RGB channels. This is essentially a Lighting Node Pro that is built into it. Uh, you get four temperature ports, and it does come with four temperature probes. It gives you two additional uh, USB headers. So let's go over a couple of different ways you can plug all this in. I'll start with the, the fan kit first. So essentially how this works is you get your three fans, each fan has two connections. Again, we talked about it earlier, but each one has a four pin PWM connector. Now, standalone, this would go uh, to one of the connections on your motherboard. If you have a fan hub or a Commander Pro, then you will connect it into there. So let's go ahead and connect this up. Since I'm gonna use the Commander Pro, I'm gonna just start with the first connection here. So number one, number two, and number three. Okay, so that's going to be the first connection that you're going to make. So the second connection for the fans is the RGB connection. And that's going to be these three cables here. Even if you're still using the Commander Pro, you still will need to use the uh, six port uh, RGB hub. This will accept multiple different uh, Corsair fans. These are SP fans, but this will take the HD fans as well. You have to have the same type of fan connected to this. You can't... Uh, mix and match different fans on this particular hub. It's possible that you would need additional uh, hubs if you have different different types of fans. Uh, the other requirement is these need to be plugged in in order. So they're numbered one through six. You need to start with number one, number two, number three, number four, number five, number six. If you skip a connection in here, it can break the, the effect. So fan number one, plug it into port number one. Take the second one, plug it into port number two. And the third one, we'll plug it into port number three. So now I've got my PWM connections made, the RGB connections made to here. From here, the other connection you need to make is you need to provide power for the RGB. And you're going to do that with a SATA connector. So this will need to be plugged into a free SATA port on your power supply. And we'll make that first one there. The second connection you need to make is you need to connect this and get it into the to USB on your PC. So you can use this uh, connector here. You can either connect this to a Lighting Node Pro. This device here has a, you just connect it into one of the LED channels here. Um, if you're using a Commander Pro, then you don't need this particular device. You can set that aside. So in this case, I am gonna use the Commander 
Pro. So, and this comes with this uh, three pin connector cable. So we'll connect it there, and then we're gonna go into LED channel number one. Now, if you were using this device, if you were gonna use the Lighting Node Pro, it would be just the same connection there. You would just go into port number one, and this has a SATA connector as well to provide the power, and you would use this. Um, so in this case, I will not need this part. Now, the next connection, is going to be from the Commander Pro. There's a USB connection, and this will go into the USB header on your motherboard. You can also use an external USB port, but it's designed to be inside the case, so you're gonna to wanna to use a, a, a USB header on your motherboard. Now the Lighting Node Pro, um, if you're gonna use this in a standalone uh, function, it comes with its own USB cable as well. It has its own USB connection and then you would connect this into the motherboard on a free USB header port. So we aren't going to need any of this because we are using the Commander Pro. So we're gonna set that aside for now. All right, so just to recap, we've got our three PWM connections. We've got our LED channel one. It is going to our six port fan hub. That allows me up to three more additional SP fans. I bought this as a three fan kit. You can buy these individually and just comes with the fan. They'll just connect right into here. And I've got three additional PWM or voltage connectors as well for additional fans. And I've made my USB connection. So I've got a connection to the Commander Pro to my motherboard for the software control. Uh, the Commander Pro also has its own SATA connection to provide power to the fans here. So we'll plug that in as well. So I've got that done. Uh, the kit does come with uh, adhesive strips for the Lighting Node Pro. The Fan Hub already has one on it. And the Commander Pro includes its own strips that come with it. So um, if you choose to use those, uh, they're provided for you. Let's talk about the temperature probes for a minute. And it comes with um, all four temperature probes. Now this is designed to measure ambient uh, case temperature. It's not meant to attach this to a device. And so um, essentially it is exactly what it is. You stick this in there, put it in whatever place in your case you want to measure the temperature on, and uh, there you go. The software will read it, and of course you can use that to monitor your system. So we'll just plug in one. We'll have one temperature probe. And again, should you have any additional need, for a, a, a USB header, you could use these as well. Um, in this particular setup, I don't have any use for that, but you, it's there if you need it. Just one other thing, the Commander Pro does come with, uh, with four pin PWM fan extensions. So if you need to move those fans around in your case, you have pl there's plenty of cable that comes with it already, but this will give you probably, I can't imagine you would need any more than this here if you need those. I don't expect I'm gonna need those fan extensions, but uh, we'll see for sure when we get the installation done. So, this here is the Lighting Node Pro Kit. It comes with the four LED strips. It comes with extensions of its own. These are three pin uh, extensions. There, there's four of them there, should you need them. Again, I haven't fully decided where in the case I'm gonna put these. I'm going to kind of decide that as I get going on the installation. And so may or may not need those. It comes with its own Lighting Node Pro, which is, again, this is the same one that comes with the fan kit. Just two LED channels, SATA connector, and a USB connector. And it comes with uh, two of the link cables here, which is to connect the Lighting Node Pro to the hub and from here into the Commander Pro if you need it. So in this particular case, I can choose to simply attach them directly to the Commander Pro. So for example, I can just use this second LED channel here. Now I can daisy chain these together. The software, the older Link software will recognize 
four of these. The Q software, and we'll, uh, I'll, we'll get into that in just a minute. The Q software will recognize up to six of these links. Now this comes as a kit. Uh, you can buy, and in retrospect, I may have been able to get away with this. Um, you can buy this just as an extension kit that just comes with the four LED strips. And it, and it leaves the Lighting Node Pro. It is a little bit cheaper to do that. So it's, it's possible at this point I'm not going to need this because I can get away with just daisy chaining all four of these together. And then if I find that I do need additional connectivity, you know, if I'm going to do more fans or more strips, I, I can use this as well and, and on its own because the whole system just works off the USB connection, so it will recognize multiple devices within the software. So in this particular case, this is probably the setup I'm going to do is something similar to this. So I can get rid of this Lighting Node Pro and all of these connections here. So in retrospect, I probably didn't need the Lighting Node Pro kit. I could have just gone with the uh, LED extension there. Okay, so anyways, that's essentially um, how this is going to get hooked up. Now, obviously, on this second LED channel, you can connect another six-port fan hub and put more fans on it. The all-in-one systems integrate into this. The uh, RGB power supplies from Corsair integrate into this. Uh, but this is just really a quick, high-level overview of the main products uh, that you're going to do. So if I were to purchase this again, and this is not a requirement, the, the Commander Pro, I could get rid of this and just use this piece here. You know, or I could use just a single one of these. Let's just say for a second that I don't have the Commander Pro because that's about $69 for that piece. So I'd have to make these connections obviously to my motherboard. But I could connect my fan into here, my fan hub, I should say, and I could connect my LED strips into here, and then just make my USB connection and my power connection here and get rid of the Commander Pro. So to me, the, the Commander Pro is not completely necessary, of course, but it does give you some nice advantages. For me, the biggest seller on it was is I, I wanted these cables off of the motherboard because I think I'm going to eventually go with one or two more fans. And uh, so I wanted the, uh, the six PWM connect connections. That being said, for just a fan hub, uh, this is very expensive. There are way cheaper fan hubs out there if that's all you need. And in retrospect, that may have worked as well. So, so consider that if, uh, you know, when, when you're considering purchasing this, that the Commander Pro is, is nice. If you need the temperature probes, it's awesome. The additional USB, if you need it all together, it's, it's a great little package. Um, but you can get away without it if you need to and save the money. And it, in retrospect, I probably could have just done without this and bought um, just a, a fan hub to get the, the cables off of there. But this is kind of cool to have. I think it'll work good. And I think this is how I am going to use it. This is going to be it for most people, I think. It, most people won't need much more than that. So after playing around with that on the bench for a bit, everything seems to be in good working order. So the next thing is to go ahead and get it installed in the PC and see how it looks. As you can see here, I installed the three fans as front intake fans. I installed the Commander Node Pro and I installed the six port RGB fan hub. I did not need either of the lighting node pros as the commander node pro uh, in this particular installation serves all of those functions for me. So as expected the cable management was uh, a bit of a challenge. It just requires some forethought and careful planning so if you take your time even in a slim case, a smaller case, you can get it done. There's always creative ways to get those cables hidden there. And here's just a better look at those three fans installed on the front. Uh, this is a Cougar Panzer G fully tempered glass case. Um, I've really enjoyed it. I love the look of it. And uh, I'll show you what the lights look like here in a minute. 
So here's just a quick look of uh, inside the case. There's the rear of the fans there. And how I chose to do this was to install the LED lighting strips up on the perimeter of the case. So from the outside of the case, you cannot see the lights directly. I, I don't like a, the direct look of the lights. Uh, so this kind of diffuses them inside the case. I'll show you here in a minute what that looks like. But I ran one strip across the front, another strip across the top, which I don't know that we can see. Then just another strip there across the back. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a quick look at what these lights actually look like and give you a quick overview of it. So the lights do default to this rainbow color as it's booting up. That Now there's one problem that I did have with this particular installation and I noticed online other people were having the same problem. It appears to be uh, the Corsair, an issue with the Corsair service or driver. I'm not yet sure. And that's when I first boot the PC up. Eventually, it will start just flickering on the, on the front lights here. So as you can see here, the lights are flickering. This is a problem that I've had every time I've booted this PC up. As I went online and was looking at the Corsair forums, this is a common problem that everybody is having. But if I get into the IQ software at this point, these front fans are unresponsive. I can't change them. I can't do anything. Oddly enough, the LED strips don't have this problem. And so the, the fix I found is either reboot the PC, and on a reboot they're fine, or you can go ahead and restart the Corsair service and it will revert back to normal. So basically you just got to get into the services on your PC and restart the Corsair service. It then reverts to a plain white, which is the instant lighting parameter that I have set. Okay, so you can see here, this is kind of the, just the effect of white. That red that you see in there, that is from the Gigabyte Gaming 3 motherboard. And let me take you around and you see these white LEDs that I've kind of got hidden. That is the back side of those fans, and that's what that looks like. So you don't get much of an effect there, but... Okay, so here's a quick look at uh, just the side panel. Uh, it's pretty dark in here. That may be tough to see, but you can kind of see uh, on the front there, it's kind of diffusing off of the glass there, but that light strip is up, up tucked away under there. I'll just run through a few of the lighting settings um, so you can kind of see what that looks like on the side. That's just a rainbow effect. There's a color shift effect. There's a color pulse. Here's a color wave. Here's a sequential. There's strobing. There's rain. That's a visor. That's marquee. And of course you have your instant lighting where you can just turn it any color that you want. And that's generally where I keep it right there just because it just looks cool as it's sitting on the desk. And that's just that's a rainbow wave. There's a spiral rainbow. That's a rainbow effect. Color shift. That's a color pulse. That's a color wave. And a sequential. Strobing. It's a rain.
There's visor. You can go clockwise, counterclockwise, adjust the speed on most of these. That's a heartbeat. And a color warp. So of course you, uh, with, with the lighting effects, the link lights, you can get uh, your mouse, your keyboard, and all of your internal lights on the same page. Well, there you have it. There's a quick look at some products by Corsair for RGB lighting in your PC case. Um, I think it turned out great. Um, I really like the look of their lighting. It's everything that I hoped it would be. Aside from the problem when booting the PC up, the front fan's flickering. Uh, I really didn't have any problems with the product uh, overall. And that's a pretty simple fix of just restarting the service, albeit it is a bit of a pain in the butt to have to do it. Um, there are other users having problems with it, so I imagine Corsair is aware of it. Uh, I didn't dig really deep yet to see if there was some other fix for it but I imagine that would be something that would be easy to fix in a software update or a driver update. Uh, the Commander Pro uh, turned out to be a great product. I really like the ability to put the fan connectors directly to it and not on the motherboard, albeit any fan hub would work and serve that purpose and would be significantly cheaper. Um, I didn't yet use any of the temperature probes. Um, I did play around with it. They do work uh, really good. So maybe somewhere down the road I'll end up implementing that into my case, but as of right now I don't have them installed. Uh, the, the fans look great, uh, the LED strips all look great, and uh, the software that you're going to use is IQ. Uh, there were two downloads on the website, one was for Link and one was for IQ. The, the Link software is older, so if, um, if you're installing Corsair products, uh, get the IQ software. You're going to control your mouse, your keyboard, uh, your fans and all your RGB lighting with that. Um, so at this point, um, I'm really happy with the way that it went. I hope that this was helpful to you and maybe making a decision if this is a, a lighting package you want to go with. Um, if you have any questions or comments, leave that in the comments below. I'll be happy to answer any questions as best I can. And stick around. I hope to do some more videos on some more RGB lighting. It's something that I'm interested in, just like messing around with. So. Anyways, I appreciate you watching, and again, I hope this was helpful to you. Thanks. Bye.